Also, I forgot. Recording is in progress. Okay. Uh, the way I work is I will first crop the photo uh, and I'll do first is straighten it up. Uh, I can crop in a little bit further. Oh. And I'm going to convert it to black and white. And I go down to where it says black and white. And this is where you can control your image with sliders by trying to find, see how it picks up the color. So I want to open up their skin tones. I want to lighten the background. And some colors don't, if they're not prevalent, they won't show up. This gives a nice little tone. Now there's no aqua. There shouldn't be any blues too much in this and these are going to be the same then i'll go back up to my main and do a final adjustment uh, play with the contrast the highlights Anyways, this is how I would convert a simple way of converting to black and white. And you can see from, this is where I started and these are the steps that I did to get to the final. Okay, I set up a slideshow of what I liked, the photos I would like to convert. Uh, the slideshow is about 24 minutes long. I can stop at any time, but that would slow things up. Can't figure out how to get rid of that. <laughs> Same way. So 
sorry about this thing. I like taking photos of people in their either doing something or asking to be photo to be taken. This is a very good friend of mine who passed away two years ago. How old are these pictures? Pardon? How old are these pic photos? Uh, well, some of these photos are probably 15, 20 years old. Oh. I didn't want to interrupt you and keep going, but uh, there are several shots in there I really like. There's black and white. I can stop it at any time. No, no, you. This is Shannon in front of Shannon. This oh. is a group that I did a lot of walks around LA with. It would be uh, kind of neat if you were able to have uh, done like a side by side to show what they look like in color versus black and white to see the difference. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> of course, you have to have pinks. I mean, <laughs> that's an institution in LA. Really? I never heard of it. Of course, I'm not from California. Yeah. Where's it located? Hollywood. Oh, I like this. Uh, this is Steve McQueen's hangar at uh, Santa Paula Airport. I'd like to take the photos of people actually working with cameras. Hollywood always has a lot of uh, areas where they filming. This little girl was uh, just amazing. <laughs> but like this, this is a you know a film being made. I got a rig like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It's on Fairfax Boulevard. <laughs> it 
This was at a art show in Beverly Hills. Oh, it's skipping some. This is paparazzi follow, following people. The alley, this is all in my neighborhood, all these things happening where I used to live. A television show being filmed. I asked uh, if I could take this photo. This is at the farmer's market when music was playing. An artist working outdoors. Starting conversations. <laughs> uh, this is an artist studio. Got to have the rock at the LA County Art Museum. They have a lot of filming going on at the Grove. You know that was named after me. <laughs> <laughs> right. They caught me. Hmm. Uh, Palm Sunday, selling things. People on their phones. Hmm. They closed off Wilshire Boulevard for a street fair, and they had all the Oscars there. Eat and play. Oh, yeah. hmm. it's amazing what you see when you're walking around. Like taking photos of people taking photos. This is in front of my house. They were doing a photo shoot inside that building on the left. And this is how they lit the windows. Oh, that's a good one. This one, yeah, I hope it pops in. Yeah. Uh, okay. I took a lot of photos on the blue train going into LA. Again, people on their phones.
people selling things on the blue train. That's a good one. She's looking at a scratcher. I hope it's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I like going to the beach at low tide. We always need a helping hand. <laughs> this one broke my heart yeah that's a good that's a good shot though hmm this is at my front door I asked if I could take his photo. Little conversation going on. And they told her it's time to leave. Oh, that's good. This is good too. I like that. Oops. Nice. This guy shows up at all the pirate events. This is good. <laughs> this is all the salespeople in front of the church waiting for bass in. Lawrence, that picture of the guy, if you don't mind, no, I am asking you to go back. Can you go back to the picture of the guy with the bicycle wheel? Is that, I have a question. If oh. that's, that's okay. Pardon? Nothing, never mind.
training for the Tour de France. That one. Yeah, that one. Oh, um, where did you find this? This is, I saw that. I think in Canada, they've got a lot of this for because so many people ride bicycles, they have these stations like that. Uh, that's at the, uh, at the uh, pier, mm. uh, Alamosa Beach. They have one over by uh, Tuttle's, across the street mm. from Tuttle's by the library. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, good shot. Nice. Even God gets termites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. He was hit by that truck. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Back on the blue train. Hollywood Boulevard. I love all the festivals that they used to have for free. Now they cost you. Yeah. This was one of the sand sculptures they had at the beach. They're, they're painting it. A uh, signing autograph, a volleyball star. Oh. They asked me to take their photo. Her with their art. <laughs> That's cool. I would take my camera and have it on my lap with a 20 millimeter lens. <laughs> That's in front of my house. They were taking this photo. Uh, getting ready for Comic-Con. Hmm. Gotta have one good car photo. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's good. That's pretty cool too. I like the couple to the right. Oh, wow. Hmm. This is one of the open street photos. Oops. Time for a refreshment. Oh. I don't know if he's speeding them or chasing them. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hope he made it. Sloppy Joe's Bar, Havana, Cuba, 1939. <laughs> mm. I remember those old uh, thing, uh, air conditioners. Pre air conditioning, air conditioners, yeah. Put them away for the winter. One of the boat races off the uh, Belmont Pier. At the Buddhist temple. I asked him if I could take his photo because he's so, such an interesting face. Wow. Can I have your autograph?
Daryl. A good one, Daryl. Yeah. And that's it. Well, Lawrence, I, I, those were great. And I never had any thought of wondering what they were like in color. I think that, um, well, I, most people have realized I'm kind of biased towards black and white, but these were some really good ones. Very interesting. Excellent images, Lawrence. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think that Doug, Doug has a, the, probably the right words there, the way you, the captures themselves lended themselves well to yeah. being black and white. That's probably the better way to say it. Uh, um, it was all because of you, Steve, that I decided to go through my photos and pick what I thought I liked the best. Oh, well, I'm glad I were able, able to influence you. Uh, can I get you to try stair driving too? <laughs> uh, pardon? Oh, I, I said, can I get you to try stair diving? Never mind. I still didn't understand you. That's okay. It's a bad joke. Uh, Got some great stair okay. diving video and footage. Uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> okay, um, Steve, you want to stop recording? Yeah. And... Uh...